Good afternoon. How are you? Austin Thompson. Coming to you live from Rhodes Jordan Park in beautiful Gwinnett. Beautiful Rhodes Jordan Park. You know, the one thing I love about the outdoors is that it gives you a, an opportunity to really take in the environment and to take in the energy, you know, with the, with the lake and the, and the ducks and, and all the natural surroundings, you know. Um, it really makes for uh, some, so, some really great conversation. Well, good afternoon again. This is Austin Thompson with Thompson Management Consulting. And today, uh, I want to, I, I really want to uh, discuss something that's really important to us as small business owners and entrepreneurs. And not just entrepreneurs and, and small business owners, but if you are in, in a particular position where there is uh, a tremendous amount of spotlight and focus on you as a professional, um, your personal brand is, is something of importance, it's something of significance for you to consider uh, building uh, and projecting that positive image that you want people to see. You see, when, it, when you build a positive brand and when you build a brand that connects with individuals, it leaves a positive footprint in the minds of those who encounter you, those who engage you, and uh, those who are working with you. And today I, I, I wish to discuss an important, um, this important topic and highlight a recent situation where a significant personal brand was damaged and ruined. Now, I recently, as, 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 as far back as 2010, I, I published a book, it's called A Brand New You, Taking Ownership of Your Personal Brand, All right? I, pers I, I, I published this book in 2010, and it highlights the importance of building a strong, recognizable brand, whether you're a corporate professional, whether you are an entrepreneur, or whether you are a college student growing into the, um, the academic space, the academic environment, and looking to develop yourself as you move through um, uh, 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 your academics, your matriculation into, from, from college and then into the working, fo working force. And it's important for us to really understand how, uh, how strong a brand is and how strong your image is and if you are not careful and not responsible enough that your personal brand can be damaged right now i know some of you may have heard the term being thrown around but what is a brand brand is image brand is 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 image it's it's how you uh project your image and your own self uh, if we're talking from a personal brand perspective, because you can brand a product, you can brand a service. Uh, if you look at the market, uh, something from your business, a service or a product from your business. But also, you can market yourself as a personal brand, right? You, you, the individual, you are a marketable commodity. And sometimes we don't think of ourselves as that, and sometimes we don't see ourselves as such. But we are a marketable commodity. Whether we are in business, whether we are in, uh, in, in a you know, religious space, whether we are in the political space, you know, we are a marketable commodity because we are something of importance to that institution um, uh, we're connected to, right? And the purpose that we're connected to and, and so on and so forth. But I wanna, I wanna really highlight um, you know, a situation that, that occurred recently uh, here in, in the Metro Atlanta area. We, we had a mayor of, of a city uh, who is now, you know, who resigned from his position as mayor. Um, he was a visionary and um, one of the founding members of a new municipality out here in the Metro Atlanta area. And this municipality had promise. It, it had a future. Uh, it was supposed to be one of the most significant cities outside of Atlanta, 
right? And this gentleman petitioned hard for the city of Stonecrest and for the city of Stonecrest to become a chartered city, right? Um, eventually it did, eventually it did, and he became the first mayor of Stonecrest. You know, what's disappointing um, was that recently uh, the mayor had to resign from his position because, um, because of theft, because of dishonesty, um, lying to constituents, and, and just, just total abject irresponsibility and greed, right? Now, uh, you know, I, 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 I printed out an article because there, there, there are several components to this article I, I wanted to read, right? Because it involves stealing COVID-19 funds and setting up a personal fund through which the money will be funneled and into personal uh, accounts to use for personal means, right? Um, small businesses were left without funding. Uh, over $6.2 million that were uh, directed to the city of Stonecrest uh, was, was actually stolen uh, by the mayor as per the reports and that money was used for personal reasons, right? And what's disappointing is that this gentleman was the visionary. He was the reason why we have a Stonecrest, Georgia. One of the advocates for a new municipality, for chartering a new city. Someone who was looked at as a leader in the community. Someone who was looked at as um, a symbol of excellence and, and um, ethical means and, and, and just being uh, an individual who, you know, we all looked up to, we all respected because of, of the work that he and his team did to, uh, to have this city chartered. But eventually, uh, you know, as, as we see with so many people, irresponsibility, and greed and just thinking that you can do anything you want, right? That you could get away with it and, and no one will know and and you know and, and and you will just you know just just go on in life, right? But that's not the case. So um, I want I want to actually do two things. I want to read a couple of uh, passages from, from this report, and then I want to read a section from my book, A Brand New You, because your personal brand is important. Your image is important. As a business owner, as an entrepreneur, as a political figure, uh, someone who is in a religious space, as a counselor, as so anybody who stands out in the, in the position of leadership, your image, your brand, your, your commitment to people and being a leader among the people is important, right? Now, I'm not, I'm not making this video to pass judgment on anyone. I'm not making this video to attack anyone. Um, I'm just simply using this, this, this story and this occurrence as an example because as we go out into this world to, to grow our businesses and to do whatever we're doing as leaders um, in, in, in our community, we have to be mindful that we, we have to take the responsibility, we have to be accountable for our actions, right? And we have to watch everything we do and everything we say because the cameras are always on us and being a public figure and, a, and an individual who's always in the public space, you're always going to, 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 to have the, the, the cameras and the lights on you and the focus on you, right? So really quick, um, I, I, I wanna read a couple of passages from, from, from this report, right? This is from the AJC, Atlanta Journal-Constitution. So what happened, um, the city of Stonecrest was, um, was, was given $6.2 million, right? So $6.2 million was dispersed 
to the city of Stonecrest from the county commission, right? The county commission board um, received uh, $125 million, right? $125 million to be used for the county, county business, county affairs, county initiatives. And out of that $125 million, $6.2 million was dispersed to the city of Stonecrest, right? Now, um, out of that $6.2 million, $5 million uh, was supposed to have been used for small business relief. So if you were a small business, if you're an entrepreneur and you own a small business, you, you know, you were supposed to be among the pool of candidates receiving part of that $5 million to use for uh, overhead costs, for utilities, for paying uh, uh, salaries, so you can keep your staff uh, employed, used for your lights, you, you know, for supplies, for materials, you know, anything you needed to keep your business operating, that $5 million was supposed to cover that. Of course, the, business, the small business owners never received that, right? And I'm gonna read this, okay? Uh, the Department of Justice says Stonecrest did not disperse the six million allocated to the Stonecrest Cares program and small business program. Instead, um, the city contracted with Municipal Resource Partners Corporation to provide accounting services and to disperse the relief funds as directed um, uh, as, di as directed by Stonecrest. Before the contract was signed, the mayor worked behind the scenes to form MRPC, which is Municipal Resource Partners Corporation, and um, the current CEO of that corporation opened the bank accounts at, to ensure that the accomplice uh, would be hired as MRPC's bookkeeper. So the, the, the mayor and the bookkeeper conspired to siphon off this money, right? And created separate accounts um, uh, uh, into which the money would be deposited and, and for personal use, right? Um, abusing his authority as mayor, the Department of Justice says the mayor devised and executed a scheme to steal re relief funds after they were dispersed by MRPC. In addition, the mayor solicited relief funds from businesses that received grants under the small business program. So not only was the mayor and his bookkeeper conspiring to, conspiring to open up accounts and to deposit money into those accounts, but they were also soliciting relief funds from, uh, from the businesses that received grants, right? Abusing, further abusing their authority. Uh, businesses were defrauded out of hundreds of thousands of dollars of relief funds. The mayor used the relief funds deposited into the Visit Us and Battleground Media accounts which were both controlled by the mayor to benefit himself and others, right? Um, and, it, and it goes on. And, and the mayor also used relief funds given to a company uh, he controlled at the time called Real Estate Management Consultants LLC to pay off his outstanding federal, state, and local tax liabilities. Also, uh, the funds were directed approximately $7,600 in stolen relief funds to be paid by Visit Us for the accountant's son's uh, college tuition and rent, right? So I asked myself, how do we go from, how, how does someone go from being a visionary, right, and being an, an upstanding citizen of the community uh, a successful brand, someone of importance, someone in whom we placed a lot of trust and faith, how do you go from that to stealing COVID-19 funds, you know, $5 million in, in, in for small business uh, funding, 
and an additional 7,600 that went into personal accounts to pay for someone's school tuition and rent. How do you go from that to this, right? And we have to ask ourselves, when, when presented with a situation, right, where you think you can do something and, and you think you can get away with it, what are you going to do, right? What are you going to do? We're all human, right? We're subjected to human faults, right? But we have to ask ourselves, what decisions are we going to make when we come, when we approach uh, or we are met with that type of situation, right? Because obviously, as professionals, as human beings, we have to stop and think, right? Don't be stupid. Don't be irresponsible, right? Do the right thing, right? Do the right thing. Even though you think you might get away with it, do the right thing. Don't do it, right? And the mayor, and in and, and, and the book, when I wrote this book um, about 10, 12 years ago, I used uh, several examples in the book of damaged brands and successful brands. People who were doing well in growing their personal brands and people who just did irresponsible things to damage their personal brands, right? Because we, we, again, we have to be responsible. We have to be always thinking, always thinking, always thinking about not doing things to damage ourselves that will, will damage our credibility, damage the relationship we have with the community and the relationship we have with people, and not to damage the faith, right, um, that, that folks have invested in us to do the right thing, right? So what I want to do now is I want to read a passage from the book, A Brand New You, because in this passage, I spoke about managing your personal risk, avoid self-destruction, right? So we have to manage risk to our personal brand. Um, you know, you have unknown risk and you have known risks, right? And we always have to be cautious and mindful, again, of the things we say and do in public, right? We are entrusted with responsibilities we have to manage. And we have to manage those well. We have to be um, the custodians of, of, of these uh, responsibilities entrusted upon us, given to us, right? Because people have faith in us. People have faith that we can do a good job, do an ethical job, and be principled individuals, right? So we have to manage risk because every day there is there 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 is there are things in the in the environment that just keeps attacking you, right? Attacking you, looking for vulnerabilities. And we can't be vulnerable to these things because we, we, we have to be the examples we are expected to be, right? So I want to, I actually want to take a look at um, one of the passages I wrote in a book, uh, A Brand New You, Taking Ownership of Your Personal Brand. And um, again, this, this, this here um, highlights managing your personal risk and avoiding self-destruction, okay? Personal risk management is not something we automatically think of each day when working to build our personal brand, or we may consider important enough to integrate into our already inundated lives. The question one may ask is how practical is personal risk management? Many people may, may be new to personal branding and may not fully understand its concept and practice. Therefore, knowledge of personal brand risk management may be expecting a bit too much. Nonetheless, for the consummate professionals, successful leader, upwardly moving entrepreneurs, students, managers, and others in highly visible positions, Personal brand risk management should be part of your development planning and daily regimen. We all have aspirations, whether it is to be doctors, lawyers, corporate CEOs, business owners, teachers, politicians, engineers, scientists, etc. Regardless of whatever profession, 
Personal brand risk management is highly critical to one's personal and professional development, especially for individuals who are constantly in public view. And, you know, it, 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 it goes to say that as a professional, again, whether you are an entrepreneur, whether you are a, uh, a political figure, whether you are a teacher, whether you're someone in the religious space, um, whether, you, when you, whether you hold a position of leadership, a position of accountability, right? Like this mayor of the city of Stonecrest in whose trust we place to do the right thing and to be responsible, a visionary, someone who advocated for the chartering of this city is now a criminal who is um, uh, on the further investigation by the FBI and had to resign from his position as mayor. And you know, over our, over our days and weeks, we, we come across people who um, have to go through similar situations. They have to, <clears throat> whether it's politicians, whether it's um, uh, uh, leaders in, in various organizations, people have to resign from positions because they did bad things, because they made bad judgments, they made bad decisions, right? They, they just were not as ethical as we thought they were. But what I want to, 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 to get through to you before I end this video is be careful, be cautious, be wise. Guard your personal brand, guard your image. Because your brand says everything. Your brand is your, 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 brand is your future, your brand is your success. If your brand is successful, if you as a personal brand if you are successful, then everything you do around you will be successful. If your brand is damaged, no one will want to have any type of interaction with you. No one will believe in you, no one will want to engage you because they don't want to associate themselves with someone who is reckless and have total disregard for their uh, responsibilities. All right? Manage your risk. Manage your risk and avoid personal self-destruction. Right? Do whatever it takes to make sure that you are always doing the right thing. And if you ever come across a situation where you start to think, ah, uh, hmm, what if, what if, uh uh, don't do it. Don't do it. Because the moment you enter into a transaction of deceit and a transaction of, of unfaithfulness, and total disregard for your responsibilities, that transaction will be your demise. All right? My name is Austin Thompson with Thompson Management Consulting. And, you know, let's be, let's be smart in how we manage our personal brands and our image and manage our responsibilities as leaders in our community. Thank you so much for joining me. Please don't forget to share, to like, this video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. All right? Thank you so much. Have a wonderful afternoon.